everyone can experience the burden of mental health issues. KCAU 9 News reporter Nick Wilson shares what challenges Siouxland's Hispanic community is facing with mental health in this edition of Hispanic Heritage. Local therapists say Spanish-speaking Siouxlanders face linguistic and cultural obstacles when seeking mental health resources. Diana Castro is a bilingual licensed mental health counselor with Siouxland Counseling Services. She says she sees roughly a dozen Spanish-speaking patients each week. And while many of these patients are bilingual, Castro says receiving mental health services in their native language is more impactful. It, it makes a huge difference in how comfortable they feel. Um, many times they're able to relate the information a lot better in their own native language and um, they're able to express themselves better in their native language. She says there are not enough bilingual therapists in Siouxland and different agencies work together to meet people's needs. We have a, a pretty long waiting list. We refer out as much as we can um, to other Spanish-speaking therapists, but as well I know that they are, um, it's difficult to fit everybody in. Um, when they are booked, they call back. They've had their waiting list for four months, and they've added Spanish-speaking group therapy to address the demand for mental health services. Ricardo Osorio is a bilingual psychiatric nurse practitioner with Siouxland Mental Health Center. He sees patients who may need medication for anxiety or depression. Osorio says cultural barriers stop many Hispanics in Siouxland from seeking the help they need. I'm honestly not sure why there is such a greater stigma in the Hispanic community, but I know that um, there's a thing called like machismo where like, you know, as men, you're supposed to be strong. Um, supposed to be a man, you can't cry, you can't be sad. He claims the COVID-19 pandemic took a toll on our Hispanic community and people still have not received mental health care to cope with that trauma. Due to language barriers and just educational barriers, um, I feel like a lot of the people that worked in those areas um, still haven't processed those, you know, deaths. And um, I feel like there are people in this community that are still struggling or still dealing with, you know, loss. Osorio says even within Siouxland's Hispanic community, there's still a variety of dialects and cultures, and he's always learning how to better care for people in need. Honoring Hispanic Heritage, Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.